We need to catch up. <laughs> Cape Town. This is crazy. It was such a trek to get here. We're here for just over a month, so we do have quite a bit of time to actually hopefully see and understand this city. We've heard they have like an epic coffee and food scene, so much coastline to explore, so many great road trips that we've heard about. Road trip! I think Nathan's gonna book us a few tours so we can kind of get a lay of the land, you know? And then there's also just so much culture and history with um, apartheid and things that we definitely want to get better educated on to truly understand and enjoy this city. So we got a lot to do and we're gonna bring y'all along with us. Starting off with a bang. We are on the big red bus. The hop on, hop off. Super touristy, but honestly one of our favorite things to do because it gives you such a good bird's eye view of the city. And honestly, it's just so nice to sit on the top and just have the breeze in your face. <laughs> taking a risk not wearing a hat. I don't know, why do you have your hat on? I'm just gonna fly away. <laughs> I don't wanna lose that hat. Yeah. Okay, yo, I didn't realize how full on this tour was gonna be. We just hopped off the red loop. There's a blue loop that is supposedly like double the length. We're gonna be stopping on like a wine tour. There's a walking tour, a boat tour. Um, it's going to be kinds of tools. all kinds of Botanical tools. <laughs> it's going to be a full two days. I thought, oh, we're just going to like leisurely stroll around, stop off, do that. No, we're on a mission. Yeah. Two adults, please. I'm psyched. We got 90 minutes here before we got to get back on the bus. This is what I expected a botanical garden in Africa to look like. Mm-hmm. Gotta stay hydrated, y'all. It's hot out here, man. Super hot. The sun's pretty harsh, it feels like. We're gonna have to reapply sunscreen. Kirstenbosch now. Love the botanical garden. Such a good place to just hang out. But now we're heading to the next stop, which is to go see some wineries. And I believe there's three to check out. Definitely might have to grab a chill glass of white wine, if you know what I'm saying. Getting on the wine tour. We don't get a break up, dude. <laughs> well, we just made it to the first winery. And it is so freaking green and lush here. When we drove up to Kirstenbosch, the Botanical Gardens, it felt like like it was immediately a different place because it was so green. Way more vegetation and, and it's cool as well. In those cocktails the other day, he was putting some of that vegetation in our drinks. Yeah, the, the finbos. The finbos. Yeah. Also a fun little thing. I'm using our 360 camera for the first time and I have no idea how these shots are turning out. I just pray to God that, yeah, we're getting some cool POV and not. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, making a stop at winery number two. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> this is the happy chappy. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, happy chappy. Happy chappy. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's a nice sweetness. That's great. I like it still dry though. I'm telling you though, everyone here is so friendly and so nice. Good vibes. Good vibes. Just really good vibes. People at our freaking apartment, the gym, the grocery store security guy we love so much. Yeah. And it's not just people that obviously uh, you're either paying or having some kind of... Yeah. Even people in the street, like they're really just chilled out down there. Right? Big smiles. Big smiles for sure. Time for some wine. <laughs> So we went with the uh, Cecily and we found out all of these names are of family members of people who own the vineyard. There's not much left in my glass because it was so good. A little bit more expensive than the other place we went to. The place we went to yesterday it was like more low key. And yeah, this view is like you can't beat it, dude. You want the view? Go to Bo Constancia. <laughs> they got the view. The other place had good wine as well, but something nothing beats this. You get yeah. this. You get the Stellenbosch Mountains in the background. And this is the Cecily. The Cecily 2022. He doesn't know that I just said that, but it's okay. crisp, <laughs> floral, light, nice finish. Medium bodied. I don't even know what that even means. Curvy. <laughs> There's no. some legs on there, some long <laughs> legs. Some long, luscious legs. So we were told we have to check out the bathrooms here. They say they're like so beautiful, right? <gasps> Toilet with the most epic view. My God. Township and then now to help Bay. The change is quickly on you like that. Yeah, and they said in the voiceover recording we're listening to that it's in high demand. They only have half the land that they need to support the community because everybody wants to live there so that they can get the jobs in this area that are definitely better paying because of the tourism. Crazy. Tough living. Yeah, get our steps. We in. walk in, get those feet moving. Hey, 10,000 steps a day. <laughs> <laughs> just let us know that we can only stay in this two block radius we can't cross over because it's not safe if we cross over supposedly maybe they could try taking our cameras or whatever so very interesting but the we just got to try a I think it was a samosa what did we just try Nathan I forgot the name it was. was it a samosa no it wasn't, it wasn't. okay I had samosas before that was something else. yeah well we just got to try something in one of the local cafes that they make here and um it was so good it had so much like spice and it was moist it almost kind of looked a little bit like falafel yeah actually i thought it was gonna be like that but it was way more it was moist so good falafel. oh my god it's been a long ass two days we're supposed to do the sunset cruise i guess we drive to signal hill sit there for like two hours watch the sunset and then come back but they say you wait in traffic a lot we're too tired i think we're gonna miss it we did, however, see there is a night market here. 
from five to nine and we're starving, so it works perfect. The winery didn't really have food except for a, a damn cheese board, so the night market it is. My name is Ramapo, I'm the one spreading love on the bin. Enlightened, enlightened. Keep going to the night. No doubt all the cultures are represented here. Food from all over Indonesia, Malaysia, India, Ethiopia, Nigeria. You have everything. Vietnam. Russia. 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 I haven't Cambodia. seen Russia. I haven't seen Russia yet. I haven't seen Russia. <laughs> Alright, we went with the Ethiopian food and some bows. Pork belly and beef shortbread. Nathan's about to die. We kind of have a view of the ocean. Let's see. Just gonna unravel some injera real quick. <laughs> Get that fatty lamb. Oh. Now you throw in some lentils. You're supposed to eat it with your hands, dog. Start there with that first bite. Barbarian. Mm. Mm. So good. You miss that injera, huh? Uh, you know what I love about injera? Is that kind of acidic, acidic, sourdoughy kind of flavor? Mm, and so, the bounce. It, oh, it bounces. That bounce. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? So good. The pickled carrot and cucumber, mint, yum. Best pork bun I've ever had in my entire life. You swear to God? I swear to God. You're not just saying that for the clout? Oh my God. <laughs> just this alone. Look out like how how bouncy and fluffy that is. Oh damn, dude. And there's that fatty edge of that pork belly with the the, yeah, the lightness of the mint and the cucumber. <laughs> oh my god. This is not a drink just A delicious South African concoction here. <laughs> Bottom here, Granny Smith apple juice. I just stirred it so you can't see the separation. <laughs> but at the top you have a nice rooibos tea. Yes. Topped with some mint. Olivia's got a little bit more than a mint on hers. Aw, so sweet. And it's super packed with antioxidants. That's it's refreshing. like a health tea. It's so refreshing. It's Sunday and we're going to the biscuit meal. The old biscuit meal. <laughs> Let's get some biscuits. Just kidding, it's not about the biscuits. We're here on a Sunday, which it's supposed to be more popping on a Saturday, but and we decided on Korean food because they make a good cup of All right, so I'm positive we got the best dish in here. Look at that cup pop, dude. And the guy was actually Korean, so you know it's good. What's up like teeth? Half a million, some about it heat. We take the heat, I'm a melt to the ice and I'm a little bit of 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 a little bit We just got an Uber down to Sea Point, walking the little promenade. It is super beautiful out today. Four o'clock and it's like, what, 80 degrees? But we just walked down and we saw these pools along the ocean. Looks just like Sydney, Australia. And there's this line of these people to jump off these uh, diving boards. Is he gonna do it? <laughs> Give me the bloody GoPro. I'm trying to learn the Afrikaans accent. What's it, bro? That's pretty Let's good. Let's go get to the bro. <laughs> <laughs> the what? Bro. What's bro? Barbecue. That's what they say. Dude, I'm sorry to sound that's more like New Zealand. <laughs> Time to take a shower, bro. In South Africa. Oh, it sounds kind of cool. <clears throat> yeah, bro, I need to take. I need to take a shower. No, I need to take. It's not as. It's not as playful and bouncy as the New Zealand one. Yeah. You know? I need to take a shower, bro. 
In time for dinner. In time for dinner. No. Shit. Some vowels and consonants are like. I ain't got two Bob's worth. <laughs> or no, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's your uncle, Blue. Hi, I'm Pippi and I'll be your guide. We're gonna be hiking Table Mountain today. I hope you got your water and your sunscreen. Thank you.